Hi, I'm Trish and I'm from Bobby O Crochet and welcome to Piece of Cake Fridays. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little snail and he's quick and he's easy and you can use up your scrap yarn. You will need, uh... <laughs> all right, there's Gibby. So um, anyways, we're just going to keep going here. You're going to need uh, two different colors of worsted weight acrylic yarn. And today I'm going to be using pink and I've got some, um, some rainbow that I'm going to use for the shell. So rather than having another one that's got like a little sort of aqua shell, my next one is going to have this. And this is the one that you're going to watch me make today. Um, you'll need some black. You'll need your G hook, your size four millimeter. You'll need some scissors. And I'm not sure I told you, but you need some fiber fill. And lastly, you're gonna need your tapestry needle. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get our yarn onto our hook. You can either slip stitch it on, do a slip knot. I always just tie mine on. Okay, so to begin, what we're gonna do is either a magic circle or a chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and slip it into that first stitch to make a ring. And then into the ring, we're going to single crochet nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For our next round, we're going to increase around. So that means we're going to put two single crochets into each stitch for a total of 18 stitches altogether. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18. Okay, so now we have our piece that looks like this. What we're gonna do now is just single crochet 18 stitches. We're gonna do that for four more rounds. So I'm going to pause recording and go ahead and single crochet four more rounds of 18 stitches. And you can go ahead and pause the video. And um, yeah, I'll just meet you on the other side. I'll see you in a minute. So back again. Okay, here we are with our piece. It is now, um, I've done four rows of 18. And now what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the um, number of stitches to 12. So rather than have 18 stitches around this way, we're going to take it down to 12. And in order to do that, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, one single crochet, one decrease all the way around. Um, that will be six times we'll do that. And that will give us 12 stitches. So here we go. So single, decrease, single, decrease. I'm going slow in case you're not familiar with a decrease. So to decrease, we insert the hook, grab a, a, grab a loop, and pull it through, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. And here we go, we're gonna do three more of those. One, two, <clears throat> and three. And now I just wanna double check that I have 12 stitches on here in case I mix that up when I was showing you. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yep, we're good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, let's just count our rows. I wanted to show you this. Sometimes um, 
like a lot of people ask me if I use stitch markers and I don't. Um, I just count. I'm not used to using stitch markers, but a lot of people are. Um, so, but here's what I'm gonna do here. So to count your rows, so you can kind of see where it starts. Uh, just wanted to get the light better. So you can kind of see where it starts here, right? So this is the completed first row. So this is where you can kind of see the end there. Like there's a little bit of a bump. So that's where my the last stitch of my first row is. So here, let's see how many rows we've got here. One, two, sorry, I should say rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so now what we wanna do is crochet to um, 12 rows of the pink. So I'm gonna do five more rows of the 12 stitches. And then um, you'll see that on our little snail here, the head kind of gets a little bit tapered here. It gets a little bit skinny, all right? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna crochet the neck part right here. All right, so we're gonna do five more rows of 12 and I'll just pause it and I'll see you back. Hi, sorry about that. I got a little bit trigger happy with the uh, pausing of the, <laughs> of the video there, but here we go. So here is the, um, the piece that we're going to start with. Now, we're going to switch colors, but before we do that, what we want to do is just stuff the head, and you'll see that the rest of the the rest of this little snail is not stuffed. So just the head. But if we wait too long, it's going to be tricky to get um, the stuffing in there. So let's go ahead and do that. And when I'm doing the stuffing, what I'm going to do is support the piece with my hand. Otherwise, if I just hold it and stuff it, it's going to get quite lumpy and bumpy, but I want to keep, I want to shape it as I go and, and use small pieces at a time, okay? So right with this piece, I'm able to just use my finger to, to get it in there and to shape it. Um, sometimes if the piece is smaller, I will use the end of um, one of my bigger crochet hooks, but this is perfect. This is great. So I just want to get it you can kind of see that I haven't stuffed it all the way to the top. It's just kind of that head end. And it, it does poke out a little bit into, into the neck part here, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna be okay with that. Okay, so now what I wanna show you is how to change colors. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. Now, what you wanna do to change colors is start by inserting your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Okay, so now you have two uh, loops on your hook and I'm just gonna cut it and bring in the new color, which is this beautiful rainbow. And uh, here we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of make a loop like that. And then I'm gonna draw this loop up to finish the single crochet that I've already started that's on my hook. So I'm just simply going to draw up a loop and that's it. And now I'm going to continue to crochet with the rainbow, just like this. Okay, so now the next part is going to take the longest, but it's also the easiest. You don't have to do anything at all, except crochet and crochet and crochet. Now, I will let you know how many rows of this rainbow it takes when I'm finished, because what we wanna do is make the tail nine inches long. So I'm going to crochet until my tail is nine inches long. So let me just grab my, I always use my little tape measure to make sure that I've got it. So we're gonna go, basically it's gonna look like this. All right, so rainbow, all the way up to uh, about there. You can see that. And then we're gonna stop. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video again and go ahead and keep crocheting until I get up to nine inches for the tail or the shell, I guess it's the shell, isn't it? Um, and then, uh, then I'm gonna come back on and show you how to finish this guy up. And I'll count the rows, um, the rounds I should say, um, when I'm finished and we'll go from there. Okay, so we'll see you in a few minutes again. Hello, back again. And we have completed our nine inches of snail shell. And we are going to, um, just to let you know, there are, I believe 30, uh, 30, 
30 rows on here? No, not 30. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, so we got 35 rows of the tail. Each of those, uh, sorry, I keep, I keep calling them rows. Um, I mean rounds. Each of those rounds is 12 uh, stitches each. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, fasten this off and we're going to leave a very long tail. I would say uh, I would go with about 12 inches. Uh, I want you to be able to see that. Okay, so about 12 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and just get my yarn out of the way. And now what we wanna do is before we, um, we put our little snail together, we're going to just put on the face. So I'm gonna get a length of black yarn. I would say probably, hmm, I don't know, it's good to have too much rather than too little. So I would say that this is probably about, I don't know, like maybe 24 inches, maybe not quite, no, not even 24, I'd say like, 20 maybe. But I'm going to go ahead and get my yarn into my tapestry needle. And then what I'm going to do, we're going to do two uh, French knots for the eyes and then a little V for the mouth. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And the reason we're doing it now is because we'll be able to hide the knot, um, our beginning knot. Okay. So I'm going to start down here because when I roll it up, my knot, even if it shows, you won't be able to see it because it's rolled up. You see here? So I'm going to start here. I'm going to poke it through. And we put these eyes one, two, three, one, two, three, four, between rows uh, four and, uh, sorry, three and four is where we put those eyes. So that's where we're going to put these ones too. So one, two, three, and four. So kind of can start anywhere. And you know, you you can kind of play around and check, you know, sort of how you like your placement. And I'm going to leave a tail about like this out here so that I can finish with my knot. So to do a French knot, what you want to do is take your tapestry needle, wrap the yarn around it once, and then poke it back into the project very close to where the yarn came out, but not exactly at the same spot, okay? So that's that's the beginning of a French knot. Now I just wanna count how many stitches are in between these two eyes. And we've got one, two, three stitches between the eyes. So I'm gonna count over one, two, three, and I'm going to poke my, uh, my needle about there. And then I'm going to support my yarn as I pull it through my French knot. And I'm gonna just sort of play around with it. Sometimes I have to redo my French knots because they just don't come out quite as nice as I want them. That one's pretty good. And you don't wanna pull it too tight because you want it to be a little, have a little bit of a bump on it. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna wrap it around once and then I'm going to poke it back in very, very close to where I started. And then I'm going to poke it over here to make my mouth. So I'm going to, I'm going to, again, I'm going to support the yarn as I pull it through. And this just keeps it from getting tangled. For whatever reason, sometimes it gets kind of tangled or um, too bulky almost. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to do my little V right here for the cute little mouth and poke it up. And I will do another stitch down. And then I'm going to poke it back through here so I can tie my knot. All right. And again, I'm not putting it right directly in the same spot. I've got a little bit of yarn in between. And that will just hold everything in place. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tie my knot. And then what I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to even out these two tails. And I'm going to just grab these tails in here. I'm just going to go ahead and zip that through and pull this through. And then I'm going to show you what I mean. So see, oops, I'm going to just cut that off. That won't even matter. I'm going to just show you, see, there's a there's that little dot there of black. But once we roll it up, you shouldn't be able to see it actually. You will be able to see it because I put it on the outside, darn it. Well, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you just have to do something a little bit different. So now that, okay, so now that I've shown you that, um, you probably <laughs> want to put your initial knot back here opposite the face. But if this happens to you, if you've already done this and you've come to this part, then what we can, there's a couple things we can do to hide this black. So I'm going to get my uh, yarn or my needle in a little bit, oops, I'm going to get a different needle in a little bit closer to where it came out. You're still going to be able to see this black, but I'm going to give you a, a trick. I'm going to show you a trick. So I'm gonna just pull that out as much as I can. Okay, now I've got this, I still have that dot there, do you see it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pink yarn and I'm just gonna get a little length of it and zip it onto my tapestry needle. And I am going to run some pink just over top of, over top of it and I'm gonna hide it, I'm gonna hide that um, that black dot that that we had there. Okay, so there we go, and you can't even tell. So now I will once again uh, tie this, and then I will pull that knot through, just like we did for the black. Now, when you're using um, when you're tying your knots, when you have a tail here, this one's a little bit short. I like to make them a bit longer just in case they, you know, they, if they're too short, they'll, they'll work their way out. And then you have this tail that um, you really can't make any shorter because then you don't want your piece to unravel. So, okay, there we go. So now there you go. There's always, there's always a way guys. There's always a way. Okay. So here we go. Now, what we're going to do, we've got kind of like, he's like a little worm almost. Get these out of the way. We are going to get this long tail onto the tapestry needle. And then what we're going to do is so I've got my little face here. I'm going to turn him over. I'm going to flatten this. And then I'm going to start rolling it up quite tight, you know, sort of, you know, not too tight. Does, I guess it doesn't really matter all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Okay, so now I've got, he looks like this. So now what I wanna do with my needle is zip it a few times back and forth to secure, oops, to secure um, that, that spiral. So this just came off here. Now, when you're doing it, you have you do have to be a little bit careful because if you make your if you make it too tight, if you make these stitches too tight, then you're going to end up kind of um, compressing the the shell, and you want to keep it you know as round as possible. So here we go. But again, you can shape it. It doesn't want to come through. Okay, here we go. All right, now we've got this, right? We want to secure it up here. So I'm going to pop that through and then you'll see where my needle is coming up. And I'm going to just do one stitch right about here. Oh, sorry, right about here. So I've got my needle through there and I'm just securing the head closer to the shell where I want it, where I want it to be. And then I'm going to just poke it through sort of as many times as I can, depending on how long my, my tail is, I'm going to poke it through just to secure that, um, that shell really well. 
Okay, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a wiggle. It looks like it's pretty good here, guys. So I'm going to tie this off. Now here's what I do to tie it off. Remember when we did that French knot? Well, it's very similar. But what I do is I scoop up a little bit of yarn very close to where the yarn is coming out and I tie a knot. Make it really nice and tight. And then I hide that tail by scooching it in back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as much as I can. That's good enough. And I'm just going to snip this end. And here he is. Here's our little, our little darling. So here now you have two. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and I would love to see your work. I'd love to, I'd love for you to um, send me some pictures of your work. I'll share it on my social media. If you don't follow me on social media, please do. I'm on Instagram and Facebook, um, YouTube, of course, and a little bit of TikTok under Baba Yo Crochet. And please do like, share, and subscribe to these videos. Uh, it's a free way to support me. And um, if you if you enjoy these videos, it helps me make more and more. So, okay. Thanks, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll catch you next Friday. Peace.